Alrighty then, make sure that is all good and all dandy. And I certainly see people over there. Hey everyone. Oh, hi. Glad to oh, see hi. you got my invitations. Mm -hmm. Hmm, looks like our old pal Luna isn't gonna make it, unfortunately. And our head researcher, Wyvern, is unfortunately out doing some other stuff, so I'll be manning the tour for today and the orientation. Is that okay with y'all? Mm -hmm. Fine with me. Yeah. Alrighty then. Well, um, man, I haven't seen some of you in a while. Asia, it's nice to see you again. Marshi, uh, uh, Finkley, I think that's yeah. your name. Haven't talked to you in quite a bit. Yeah, quite some time. I, th I think it's been months. I think the last time I really spoke to you is when you were asking for your, uh, what is it? What was it that you, uh, left accidentally? It was, it was a book of yours about therapy. Oh, yeah. Uh, something about therapy. Uh, I, I can't remember which one. I, I left three around somewhere, but I've got them all back now. Well, that's good. That's good. You're possibly going to need them for this job offer that I'm going to offer you. And, uh... Zolan, it's nice to see you again with the... Did you tame that thing? Uh, practically. How does... You know what, I'm not even going to ask. Sometimes it's best not to ask questions. Anyways, I see you all have uh, <laughs> been waiting out here. Definitely apologize for that. <laughs> Didn't mean to take too long. I was just making sure things were sorted and ready. I had to talk to Wyvern before they headed out. And uh, don't worry about Luna, uh, the other one that's supposed to be showing up here. I'll probably give them a Torah uh, in private. So anyways, anyways, some of you might be familiar with this mansion, as it used to belong to a wicked race of villagers, known as the Illagers, who are no longer around. And we decided to refurbish this place into a research center for all things technological, scientific, and medical. So, obviously, with a place like this, we need people to help work out or work inside of it. So, me and my sister and my other sister, Allie, decided that you people would be best fit candidates concerning the fact that you cover a lot of grounds and fields of research, including medical, technology, psychological, so, yeah, I think this was a very good call. Granted, there was supposed to be another person here today, but unfortunately they couldn't make it. But that's all fine and dandy. I'm sure you'll get to meet them soon. But take this as a little bit of a job offer. Since the new world is expanding in all fields, including militaristic strategies, governmental practices, and other advanced technologies, thanks to Zolan over there, we decided that it might be necessary to start advancing in other fields, and definitely in the medical field, because unfortunately, potions and other stuff, we're not entirely sure when we'll run out of materials on that. So, does that sound good with everyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Feel free to ask any questions, but if you are all very much interested in checking out the mansion, I'll go ahead and give you the tour right now. I'll explain things on the way, and yes, your pets can come in here. They're completely fine. So here, let's head on in. Watch your step there. Sometimes we trip on it. Mm -hmm. This place used to very much look down and gloomy before we had some commissioned villagers come in and uh, refurbish the place. Not entirely sure where they got those sparkly rods from, but they're there. And I guess they look nice, as long as they don't cause internal diseases or something. I have no idea. So, right here is obviously the entryway. We got a stairway up to the second floor. There's a total of three floors. We have a ground floor, a second floor, and a third floor. We'll get to see all of those in just a minute, but I think, I think as of right now, uh, we should probably do some introductions. Because, well, if you're going to get familiar with your acquaintances, you should probably get to know their names and who they are. So... Let's start with you, Zolan. Oh. Um, alright, uh... My name is Zolan, Zolan Stromberg. Um, I live not too far from here, over in Sweden. Uh, my main field is in technology, I dabble in a little bit of chemistry here and there, and... 
That's practically me, and this is Loki. He's my spider. He's nice. He won't right. do anything. There it is, then. Thinkly, your turn. All right. My name is Thinkly. I, I am. Well, as far as I know, I'm the only psychiatrist around here, or in this seemingly new age. Uh, but um. I live around Greenland, cold place. You wouldn't like it unless you're going to go skiing. Lots of snow. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I I just do psychology and stuff. Mm. It's very interesting that you say that because my sister, uh, Yuki, she was a. Uh... Well, technically, she still can be, but she's uh she's also a psychologist. Who knows, maybe you can uh, learn a few things or, or two from her. You get to bounce off of each other, I guess. Asia, your turn. My name is Asia. Um, I live in Solodon, in a little island in China. Um, and I mean in uh, the medical field. All right, we got another medical field based person. I know Luna also dabbles in a little bit of uh, medical stuff, specifically uh, surgical science and practices. And Marshy? Um, hi, I'm Marshy. I live in Haven. Um, I don't really have a specific field. I guess the closest thing is maybe like, what's it called? Archaeology, I think? Ah, archaeology. Hmm. That's actually very interesting. There's actually a... Uh... A couple of dig sites that have some stuff that you might be interested in. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is Chicken Queen. Very nice to meet you, Chicken Queen. I'm sure you're going to be well equated here. I don't really speak dog. That's more of my father's thing. All righty then. Um, well, obviously I don't need to introduce myself because every single one of you know who I am. Justin, red right hand of the New World Order. So with the introductions out of the way, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you might notice here on my right is the Project Genesis Evidence Submission Kiosk Station. Despite the big name to it, this is actually very quintessential and very much essential to uh, one of our projects that Researcher Wyvern is up to, called Project Genesis. Now, Project Genesis is a project in which we take all forms of evidence to figure out what happened to the old world. So if you have anything that might be tied or related to that, such as a book or a tape or something like that, you submit it here. At your own volition, obviously. I know there's some pieces of evidence out there that haven't been submitted yet, but can't technically force that onto someone unless they really, really want to get in their faces, but we haven't had that instance yet. So again, if you have any evidence for Project Genesis, or have any information, definitely submit it here in the kiosk station. In mm -hmm. front of me is the smithing forge. This is where we do experiments on, well, smithing. You can guys, you guys can come on in here. Don't worry about it. Just make sure not to get pushed into the fire there. We have had someone get burnt because of that, so just be very careful. So this is where you can craft weapons and experiment and research on new enchantments or possible, you know, different weaponry, all things forged based here. So as you can see, we definitely have some suits already made that are being researched on. We got some tools. We even got an obsidian mallet. So don't worry about that thing breaking. Or you could possibly come in here and learn a thing or two. So coming on out, and out over here to my left here is the enchanting table. So if you want to experiment with enchanting, there's the enchantment table. It's definitely being well, powered by those bookcases, and I think, okay, that chest is still empty, but there will be some lapis supplies and books in there, so you can uh, be able to do anything. I know for a fact that enchanting magic is kind of finicky sometimes. Be careful with it. Sometimes it can break your armor, and I've had that instance happen before, so be very, very much careful with it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this magic isn't necessarily for us to know about, but since... Hades and the others have provided it to us. We need to treat it with the utmost respect. Is that understood? Very fair. Yeah. All right, good, good. The Illagers did one thing wrong, but we're not going to make the same mistake. Ground floor storage here in front of me. This is where we do all of our storage, and this is also where, if you guys want to come in here, 
There's also a trap door here where if you lift it up, you can open this chest down here. That's where all evidence for Project Genesis that gets submitted gets put. So if you see any evidence in there, you submit it to Dr. Wyvern. Hmm. Don't don't keep that stuff for yourself. He's he's the one in charge of the project. Uh, that place, that testing chamber right there is still under construction, so we don't need to worry about that. But now we're going to move on to the potion and alchemical brewing area. So some of you might like this area. So we got Netherwart Farm and Research. It took us a lot to get these materials, so definitely keep them with the oh. utmost respect. We got nether fresh Netherwart right there provided to us from the underworld. And some other nice equipment that I have no idea how to use. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the technical kind of guy, so I wouldn't know how to use that either. I think that field definitely requires Zolan over there, so. But obviously, with Nether Wart, you're going to need ingredients. So inside here is our ingredients vault. If any of you want to go check it out, there's a button on the inside that'll let you out. But what's in there is mostly ingredients. Here, let's just open up. Just one at a time come in. Be careful, that door likes to close a lot. Oh, I can't open the door. <laughs> As of right now, the material is still being shipped out and made, so these chests are a little empty, but rest assured that in time, through our connections, through villagers and merchants and our good buddy phone over down in Junction, all of these chests will be filled with every single ingredient that you can ever brew with. I think you'll definitely take a like. Wouldn't it be kind of hard to get these rabbit foots here? Not since... exactly. Well, I'm Sorry. I'm thinking since they're only in. No, they're not only in Greenland. They're hmm. rabbits can be plentiful wherever you go. Really, I have a lot I've, of them. I've only home. seen I've only seen them in snowy places, so. They can also be in desert areas, from what I heard. And we got plenty of space for that. <laughs> yeah. But rest assured, these chests will be stockful. Just try not to take too many ingredients. Wouldn't want to have a little bit of an explosion if you mix the wrong ones. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, our head researcher, Wyvern, has been dabbling into some stuff, and unfortunately, some of it can combust, so... But of course, I don't know exactly how that's done. And here is our alchemical brewing station. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want to go see this, but it's basically just your quintessential brewing area. We got cauldrons, brewing stands, a chest for storage, and some other testing equipment that you can take a look at. Okay. Yeah, just give them a moment. Just give them a moment. <sighs> Honestly, it's actually pretty amazing that the villagers were able to invent this kind of stuff and not us. Hmm. In fact, I think the villagers know a lot more than what we do, so they're definitely essential for our side. And I'm honestly really glad, despite the conditions of what this room used to be for, they decided to pull through and help us out. Hmm. This, uh, this room used to be a holding cell for villagers. Oh. Yeah, the wicked illagers used to do experiments on them, but ever since we saved them from their captivity and their torment, they've kind of started praising us as gods. <laughs> they do everything for us. They trade with us. They provide everything. So it's good to have them on our side. <clears throat> and it's heading on out. Just thought it wouldn't be my area of expertise, so I didn't oh, seem to that, know. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. If you ever do think about looking in there, don't hesitate to. It's pretty much open for every researcher who wants to learn a thing or two. Next up in front of me on the left is our smithing experimentation. Well, the smithing forge is for crafting weapons. This is for experimentation. I guess I should have uh, stated that in the beginning. My apologies. Makes sense. There's nothing really else to see here, just some tools, crafting tables, some anvils, other sorts of equipment that you can test out with. So yeah, not really much to see here. 
And again, to my left over here is the emergency quarantine. So if you ever find yourself down with some sort of illness or exposure to some sort of chemical or radiation, definitely go here. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I made sure to specifically have this designed to, uh, you know, keep anything that you might contract inside that cell. And well, you can also get treated there. So, but let's hope that room never has to be used. Right here is the plant life preservation. We have examples Ooh. of plants from all over the earth. Uh -huh. So if you want to experiment with some plants or some fauna or something like that, here's here's where you can get it. Yeah. The first time we discovered this room, fun fact, there was an overgrown something on the wall. So I'm not sure what the illagers were doing, but I guess they did something wrong. And across the hallway is the plant life research area. Much like the nether wart area, this place looks relatively the same with the same equipment, but there's other things here as well. All plant life research should obviously be done here. Mm -hmm. hmm. So then you gotta check this out. I um, don't exactly have the best history with plants. I'm just gonna say that. Hmm. Well, maybe you can learn a thing or two here. Obviously, this research center is to maybe help, you know, expand the minds of others. We're gonna head back to the front because there's one more room we, we can look at before we have to go upstairs. Past the kiosk, past the stairs. And this is the last room on the ground floor. This is the ground floor break room. So if you ever find yourself too much or hopped up on work, you can obviously take your breaks here. Cozy. Just make sure you pack yourself a lunch because I don't think we have any food here yet. Anyways, we're gonna head on upstairs now. Just watch your steps because again, these uh, floors are a little creaky. We haven't had time to replace them. But up here is where a lot of the uh, a lot of the advanced research uh, research begins. My apologies. Uh, the first room we have is also another break room on the first floor. So you know you don't always have to go back to the ground floor to eat your lunch or whatever you're doing unless you want to take a walk yeah that is true yeah all right so on my left here is the medical patient room so this place is going to serve a little bit as a hospital as well because we don't exactly have a lot of hospitals in this world so if anybody needs to be treated for any injuries or illnesses they'll be placed here this is where they will be those beds are actually really really comfy we didn't really change anything about them and right behind you is the medical research and development. So if you want to, uh, if you want to research into making new medicines or other forms of, well, medical phenomena, you can do so there. In fact, you might find head researcher Wyvern in there most of the time because he said he was really, really interested in that room. Over here is the first floor storage. Everything in here uh, is definitely, uh, definitely in the medical field. There's also some other ingredients here in here that you can try. Um, there's bandages, gauze pads, all sorts of stuff. So if you ever find yourself running out of some, this storage room is fully stocked. And now on to one of the most important rooms, mapping and expedition. This is where we do a lot of our mapping and cartography. Obviously, we have a few maps of some cities that we have out there, including uh, Anime Land, Dynasty, Orlade, Solar Dawn, Obviously, Crudvalis over there, and that giant map over there is Haven. Some of the biggest colonies that we have around the world. We've got to keep track of these things. But this is where we put all of our maps, and this is where we map out expeditions that we're going to do. One map that we still haven't figured out, though, is this one on the center here. But we're not entirely sure what all of it means just yet. We're hoping to figure it out soon. The Illagers I... left it, and, well, it might lead to something. Who knows? Uh, Justin. Hmm? What is it? I think you have the map of Cret. I think the map of Cretvolus is a little bit out of date. I'll get a cartographer to go out there and map it again if you don't mind. No problem. Alrighty then. We always want to update our maps. For anybody who wants to pay respects to the god Hades, you can do so there, but do not take down that painting. Do not take anything out of that chest. In fact, I would advise not doing anything to this room besides just giving gifts or giving worship because, well, we don't exactly want to piss off the gods because we're not sure what their power extends to. That and that's Fair enough. Cool. 
that and that's my uncle, so I wouldn't exactly want to be on his bad side. Uh, this other room is under construction, but I'm not entirely sure what we're planning on doing with this room. It might be just a, a, a laboratory or something like that, so keep an eye on that. There might be construction soon. Just thought I'd point that out. This is head researcher's office. This is where Wyvern will be all the time, so if you need to ask him any questions or need to have a meeting with him, he's always here. So keep that in mind. And just like Hades, if you want to pay respects to the god Zagreus, you can over there. But remember what I said before. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we'll, we'll check out the library first. One thing that the Illagers left for us was a lot of their research notes and a lot of their books. So all of these shelves are stacked with books. So who knows, you might find an interesting read in here. But this is obviously most of their studies, some of our studies. And, well, if you want to put more studies in here, just be sure to ask us, or ask Wyvern, and he'll give you permission. Just put your books in those chests, and you'll be fine. Now, on to Project Genesis Evidence Archive. So, obviously, in the beginning of this tour, I showed you the kiosk station where you put evidence for Project Genesis, but, you know, you might be wondering where does it all go? Well, it goes here. As of right now, this is every single piece of evidence we have managed to piece together and gather for Project Genesis. And might I mention, if a public person does want to take a look at the evidence archive, you are basically essentially supposed to let them look at it because, well, this is supposed to be a public thing. But only this room, only this room, public people are not allowed to see anything else. They're only allowed to submit evidence or look at the evidence. And well, this is everything we've managed to find. And well, me and Wyvern actually managed to make a breakthrough with these map pieces here. They actually fit together. Oh. Very, very interesting. The other two map pieces are possibly out there, so we're, we're trying to find every single piece of evidence that'll lead us to anything here. These books here, you can actually read them by just right-clicking the frame. If anybody knows anything about these, please feel free to tell Wyvern or myself or even the Queen at, at that most if she's not busy. But if you ever want to take a look at this evidence, it's always here. And also remember, like I said, public people are allowed to see this, but they're only allowed to see this room. The only other thing that they can do is submit evidence. Everything else is completely off limits. Don't exactly want to expose our, well, New World residents to any chemicals and then get the blame pinned on us. Behind the stairs is another storage. We don't really need to see that, but there's some more storage behind those stairs. Moving up into the third floor, we have ourselves researcher offices. Now, these research offices are open to any of you. If you need to sit down and actually study for something, any of these desks are open to you. We're not going to really assign desks because we don't have a lot of room and we don't have enough room for everybody. So these desks are open to anybody. Just make sure you clean up after yourself. Fair enough. And there's a lot of books in here as well. There's something you can read as well. Moving on to over here, we have ourselves the bulletin board where messages get posted. But as of right now, our little rebellion friends are on display. We don't need to worry about them though. They're not they're not the problem right now. What needs to be discussed is obviously this mansion meeting room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, goodness gracious, I'm not sure why I climbed on the table, but this is a giant table for all of you researchers in case you need to have a meeting for absolutely anything. Obviously there's a lot of seats, so we're planning on obviously getting a lot more uh a lot more uh clerics and other people that are researchers to help us out here so yeah we have ourselves a giant table this is all for meetings and last but certainly not least on the list of rooms is the third floor storage this used to be the old meeting room but we've transformed it into another storage it goes down and uh hmm. right here and also behind the stairs there's even more storage And that pretty much does it for the tour. Does anybody have any questions? I do have a question. Uh, should we... Well, mine's more like studying how people uh, 
why people do things or how they feel when they do things. Mm -hmm. uh, and that would be just, that would need like just a lounge area or something similar. Uh, do we just use like one of the break rooms? Would I use one of the break rooms for that or? Uh, hmm. I mean, you could use a break room, but we still have a one room under construction, so I could obviously make that into something if you truly want. Just thought that should be voiced. All right, then I'll take I'll take that into account. We'll see what we can do for that. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, not really. Uh, I mean, uh, pets are alive allowed, so. Obviously, as long as they don't destroy the place, which these two seem to be doing pretty well. I thought they would honestly kill each other, good. but <laughs> looks like we don't need to worry about that. They're pretty well behaved. And well, since my arachnophobia is not really a thing anymore, I guess it's interesting to stand in the same room as a giant spider. It's a bit strange, but, you know. Again, as long as they're behaving themselves. Here, let's go ahead and get out of this room. Alrighty then, as I said before, Researcher Wyvern will obviously be here, as well as our, our other uh, candidate who couldn't make it, but obviously I'm going to handle them uh, privately. I'll give them a tour in private. Um, Researcher Wyvern, if you have any questions for him, definitely, uh, definitely, you know, find him. He always wears a lab coat, so he's not too far off to distinguish. And well, I guess there's nothing else to say other than welcome to the Woodland Research Center of Discovery. Cool. All right, then. Well, you are free to start anytime you want. Just make sure that any development you make, you report it to Wyvern and, you know, it gets reported back to us because we oversee this place. And, well, don't worry about this place getting attacked or anything like that. This place is well guarded, as you can see by the guards in the front. Mm -hmm. But I must warn you all, considering the fact that there is a rebellion out there, if anything looks very much suspicious to you that has possible ties to rebels or the rebellion itself, you don't talk to Wyvern about that. You talk to me about that. Or you can talk to those guards about it. They'll relay it to me. Anything that has to do with rebels gets brought back to me. And only me. It doesn't involve you. It doesn't involve your pets. And it doesn't involve Wyvern. Or your other colleague that didn't show up. It involves me and my authority. Alrighty then? We got that clear? Yep. Very clear. And if you must... Use one of those rooms to trap him inside, and then we'll carry it from there. Because, well, there's a lot of rooms here that could possibly be used to detain someone. Only do that if it's your last measure. I wouldn't want any of you getting hurt, because not only does the New World Order actually do care about you, but you're very much valuable to everybody. You'll, you'll probably be the ones to carry the New World, besides our militaristic strategies and our governmental practices. Obviously... With you, we'll be able to advance further in a lot of fields, including the medical field, like I said in the beginning. So we wouldn't want you dying on us. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go do some paperwork, and I'm probably going to go meet up with Wyvern to discuss other plans, but feel free to look around and, well... Make sure you don't break anything. And again, you're free to start any time you want. Just make sure you let us know. All right. That out of the way, I hope you all have a good day, and I look forward to seeing your developments. Mm -hmm. All right. See you later. Have a good one.